little improvisation moving upwards on the harp today. This is a really simple, you know, idea here. And what I want to do is just, that's the camera, Ronnie. It's right there. Um, what I want to do is take a minute and explain what I was trying to do. The only issue, let me point out the issue that, that comes up as I'm doing these types of things. They're experiments, so I'm not... I'm not exactly playing, um, how can I put this? I'm not exactly playing the way that I would play had I not put this idea out there, this sort of upward movement thematically. However, it is something that I've noticed come out naturally at times when I'm playing. It's a worthwhile experiment. It's just one more, you know, ex exploration exercise in improvising. And what I did was I tried to, for the most part, build from the bottom of the harmonica and loosely make my way up to the top. That's it. That's the whole idea, but it keeps you on track. It keeps you paying attention to what you're saying versus the guy that's randomly kind of searching for ideas. Um, it's one way to do this. So if you back the track up, you could hear that I spent time eventually bringing in the three and eventually the four and a little bit of the five and then I used the six. That doesn't mean you can't move, that doesn't mean you can't move back down and you can't take an idea and move up and then come back down. It just means that in general, you're moving your way up the harp. And it kind of makes sense musically because it's building more tension as you get to those higher notes. You're kind of like, you're kind of building that sort of, that energy up, if you will. Um, so that's part of what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, let me put this track back to an earlier point. I do want to. I do want to get. I had this idea popping around in my head for the last several weeks about looping blues riffs. Looping blues riffs are something that I have done over the years more than once. Um, yeah, improvisation is a challenge for a lot of people. You know, the thing about um, the improvisation game is that there's you get in your head real quick, and there's a million ways to improvise when it comes to improvising in general, forget the harmonica or blues, just improvisation. And because there's so many different methods, when it's new to you, you don't know what method to try first. So you end up searching and I'm gonna do a little of this, I'm gonna do a little of that. And before you know it, you're in your head. And the idea when you're improvising is that you're out of your head. You're you're just feeling your way through this. What's up, Shane? So I think um, what I'm trying to communicate is that these are just exercises, they're just ideas. The, at the end of the day, when you actually go to improvise, hopefully you've practiced enough ideas and strategies and heard enough examples that you can just get right to it and play what you feel, which is sound more like. Here's an interesting one. Listen to what somebody's doing when they improvise and try to figure out if you can discern and if you can take away some angles that they might have brought in, whether it was intentional or not. Like right now.
maybe something came from that that you can hear like again because I've implanted that idea that I maybe will catch something. I'm I'm playing mainly there from just pure you know heart and sort of feeling my way through it. But I did notice, I did notice, and this was the point, is that I start to notice things which can influence what you're playing. I need to, when I'm playing typically, I'm try, I don't know, I'm not noticing, I'm reacting. And I think that one of the things I did notice though, if, if we're making this more like educational, is that um, there were times where I'd play an idea on the four chord in a very specific, you know, uh, rhythmic pattern or um, accent, and then I'd carry that pattern or that rhythmic quality into the four chord. Like I might go. Four. Some of the phrasing would carry over. So those are also some, look, it's endless. This is just a, a random idea that popped in my head. I wanted to share it with you um, before I jump into my lessons today and Thanks to everybody who checked out my last video that I posted, which was simply the audio that Howard Levy uh, provided me and gave me permission to upload to this channel. Which course would you recommend for noobs? Let me get to that in a second. That's a good question. Um, and it's just uh, simply a, if you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. It's a track um, that he uses an A flat and he's just pretty much, so this, the song's in uh, B flat and he's just, he's, he's modulating or is he changing he's just working all the positions so the song stays in b flat um and he goes through all the different positions on an a flat harmonica 12 positions to be exact it's remarkable go listen to it if you haven't courses for noobs to me that means somebody who's a total beginner trying to get into playing harmonica if you want to go to harmonica123.com which is my website you'll find that there's a handful of beginner material like beginner blues licks um harmonica basics and there might be some streaming courses that you can watch that are just beginner oriented courses but um, most of my stuff is geared towards beginner intermediate and advanced intermediate sort of that zone and a few advanced things that I've put out there before you know and don't forget the free content all the YouTube videos that have already been posted <laughs> All right. Oh, looping. I, I alluded to this thing about looping blues riffs. And um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the looping blues riffs on sale in the video description when this ends. A deep discount. It's a cool lesson. It's all audio of me creating these looping blues riffs. So I'm going to make up one in the moment, break it down with you, share it, show you how I use it. And then, yeah, Adam Gusso is a good guy to check out as well, for sure. Um, and yeah, let's do it. Let's just create a looping blues riffs. And if you like a, this riff, you like this idea of these looping ideas, <laughs> the idea of the looping ideas, then check out the offer in the video description when this post is up. So we need a, blo a looping br blues riff here. Let's see. That's kind of cool. I'm not, I, didn't, I don't think that's even on the lesson, so that's even better. I hope it's not. I don't think it is. Three, I'm on an A harmonica, everybody. Now, I don't do this every morning. It's funny you should say that because uh, today I was watching a podcast about doing a live feed every single day and, and how that can change your world, your business world. And I thought, well, maybe I should do a live feed every day, but uh, it's a lot. It's a big commitment. I think that's what I played, you guys. So I'm on an A harmonica, three draw, half step in. Four blow. Hey, Tony. Three half step in to four blow. You're going to have to write this out if you want it. I'll probably put it in the video description, but if you want to try it with me. After four blow, we got four bend and four draw. Back down to three draw, half step. Two draw. Now look, if you're thinking that's too much, that's too hard, just shorten it. Take away that, take away that two draw if you want. 
I'll share both of these with you. So the first one was three draw, half step, four blow, four bend, four draw, three draw, half step, bend, two draw. The other one, just take off the last two notes. Don't go back down. Stop at four draw and repeat. Let's do that one first, it's short. I am puckering this. Three draw half, four blow, four bend, four draw. You can play with it any way you want. The cool thing about learning the blues, the looping ones, is that, and often they're triplets, this is an unusual one, um, is that you can just sit there for a minute and you're not having to strategize, what am I gonna play next and, and think about what you're doing. You just do it. Um, let's play the first one with the three draw half step and the two draw on the back end of that riff. That sounds like this. Brought them both together. And then what's cool about these looping blues riffs is because they keep you in a very specific small range of the harmonica is you can develop this thing I keep talking about, this thematic improvisation where you explore um, improvising by having some sort of theme kind of sometimes loosely and sometimes sort of not so loose in your head going so that you have something to follow. So let's develop a theme from this. We get the liberty to change the phrasing, remove notes, eventually add one or two notes. Stayed mostly right there in that two to four zone. I'm gonna teach you this triplet. Four draw, four bend, three draw. I'm puckering all that. That's a cool one. People don't talk about that one a lot. And the other, and I started making triplets all over. These little repeating, looping ideas within the theme. Kind of like a tornado that has multiple tornadoes going around it. That's kind of like that. You know, you develop this one theme and you go, oh, that's a theme. How about if I put another little mini theme that is related inside of that? And it worked really well. And the other one, and I even did the Sunny Boy riff. So you hear that inside of that little area, I didn't have to move around a lot. And I could then focus all my energy on the emotional outpour and interplay with the rhythm and the phrasing. It was less about the note choices and it was more about just getting into the notes I'm already using. Uh-huh, that's the idea. Last one, and then I've got to run here.
trying to find it. There was actually a couple different things. The one that I landed on first that I stayed with. That's like a four bend lifted to four draw, back to four bend, to four blow, to three draw half step. A harmonica if you're just joining. These are a little more advanced. So if you're thinking, man, this is tough, simplify it. Simplify the move. And if you dig this, come back to the video description where I'm gonna put a you know really good deal on the lesson looping blues riffs. That's what's going on sale today. And then the other one at the bottom, I played with the with the phrasing of it, but I kept the notes the same: two draw full step bend, two draw half step bend, and two draw. Thanks for tuning in. It's late there, but I appreciate you being here. Yeah, so there's a bunch that came up. I think the best analogy today really was the, the vortices, the tornado, the little, has anybody ever seen that? It's really cool when you see a tornado. I've, I've only seen uh, maybe one funnel cloud in my life. Well, a couple. And up close, I know I've been near a tornado, but like you see these videos, it's so cool. And then you get the little mini tornadoes going around. Think of that the next time you're improvising and you want to stay focused. If you found a cool thematic sort of thing happening, move that theme to other parts of the harmonica. See what happens to that. All right, make it a good day today. I really do have to run. Thanks for tuning into this live broadcast. Be sure to check back for the video description. And don't forget, Saturday is the Global Blues Harmonica Summit with Howard Levy. I'll put a link to the ticket to uh, that online event coming up. 19 tornadoes on Labor Day last year. Let's hope that uh, that's not a repeat. Hey, Herb. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Do appreciate you being here. Um, yep, yep, yep. What's this? Play out.
sure is raining. Alright you guys, this is a crossover for the person that was asking what I'm playing. I'm going to run. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in another video soon or maybe at the summit on Saturday. Thanks so much.